Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest and friend Jane Arnold. Hello. We're looking at the week of October the 19th to the 25th. As you all know, on the 25th, the daylight thingy bob, whatever it's called, day saver, daylight saver, what yes. is it called? Day, day <laughs> light saving? Yes. Shit. Anyway, it's ending on the 25th, it is Sunday. <laughs> right, so we're not recording the week of the twi- of the, the the twenty sixth yet, but I just wanted to say this. Um, remember, it's mainly psychological, right? Just because it gets dark, it doesn't mean you have to be more miss- miserable, right? Because I had people saying to me already, "Oh, I'm I'm worried about this." Don't, right? I mean, we've we've been playing these stupid games for years, right? We have that every year that we're doing this, so. Because it, is, it happens on the last day of this week that we're recording about, that we're recording. Uh, is this but oh, There it is. Sorry. I was just looking at something. <laughs> right? So, all I'm saying is, as we go through the week, and we don't know what the week is, is holding yet, and then we go through this stage where all of a sudden we feel, oh my God, there is less light. There isn't less light. You just get up an hour early, if that makes sense. So, don't make this a problem because it's just psychological, right? The, the, the day still has 24 hours, you just shift them slightly, right? I have no idea why I'm bringing this up. I hope the week is not going to be as bad. Last week was a really disruptive week, um, by all accounts. So let's see what the overall energy is. I wanted to mention this. If it knocks on the door, it's just my Asta delivery, in which case I bugger off and uh, you just continue until I'm back, so to speak. Yeah. You know. Well done. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Let's see what we got. Ah, not so bad. We have the bobcat and the screech owl. So this is a way a week of just observation, right? So it's not going to be super heavy. It's just being sketch yourself a vantage point. Step back from all the stuff that is bothering you. That doesn't mean to run away, but it's just like okay. Hang on a second, stop the clock, right? What's going on here? And then just look at what isn't working and reassess it from there because you have the screech owl, which means communication will be a bit of a problem this week. And so before you um, act out in anger and frustration, look at what's going on first, assess and then make your, your, your points None. So that's the overall energy. Actually, it's not so heavy, mm. right? It just means because we have obviously the screech owl here, um, it means you will be required to actually say something about something, if that makes sense. So this is not a week where you can just observe and then do nothing with it, right? But communication could be a bit disrupted, if that makes sense, right? So that was that. We are still in uh, Libra, and that's the first star sign that we're going to do. Okay. On to these cards, so we use these. <coughs> Speak out with that. No, oh, there you go. Okay, so we have assertiveness and the heart chakra. So, um, follow straight away what you were saying about speaking out, being assertive, um, actually pushing yourself forward in situations, not holding back, uh, speaking your truth as well. I've just had as well. So. Um, it very much follows on from uh, the theme of the week and it says speak your truth and um, guide in your words. So mm. that's exactly what it says on the yeah, cards. Absolutely. So yeah, so um, if something that you don't like, something isn't going the way that it should be going, don't keep holding it in. Um, and I, I do feel that this is related to in more so with relationships because the other card is the heart so chakra. Mm. So it's very much if you're not happy with things in the relationship, you're not happy with the way things are going, don't keep sitting there being miserable or thinking about, you know, I need to say this, or I need to say that. Um, this is the week I feel that you're going to be prompted to say things. And sometimes it's better that way because you'll clear the air, let the other person know how you're feeling, and then you can move forward from that. So actually, out of something that can feel awkward, uh, will be an improvement in your relationship. Okie dokie, there was Libra going into Scorpio. Let's see what we got. 
Well, they follow straight away from the overall energy. Yeah, oftentimes the case. Yeah. So Scorpio, you have the bald eagle and the grey squirrel. Again, this is a week where they're saying is hold your fire, observe, right? If that makes sense. Really, really is about observing all angles of your entire life, if that makes sense. And new ideas will actually come in for Scorpios. Um, and new solutions, therefore, uh, will, will come in uh, for Scorpio. So what they're saying is if you just have a look at what's going on, you can then tweak it because you stop just living your life, if that makes sense, and never taking stock. Um, <clears throat> that's really all there is. Um, the emphasis, though, is on observing, stepping back, which again goes hand in hand with the overall energy we had this week, short and, short and sweet, for Scorpios going into Sagittarius. Okay, we have relationship and life purpose. Um, this is very much somebody that's, um, you're going to come into your own um, around now. You're, you're actually going to come, come out of the shell that you've been in or hold it from holding yourself back. And I feel you're actually going to come into your own now um, and move forward in a way that's more comfortable with you. This can be uh, either career focused or it can be relationship focused. But it's very much you're going into an area now that you're meant to be in. But it's, um, it's more of a balance within your life, a balance within work relationship in your life. Um, and it's just you're going to know and you're going to feel that yes I've done the right thing because you're being pushed into this because you've not quite been where you should be and you'll have been feeling off kilter for a little bit of a while thinking you know I don't feel right things aren't right in my life I don't know why so this is the final push for you to get you into the right place where you're meant to be and you'll just know it'll feel like a penny's dropped and it'll feel more comfortable so whether that is within work um, it can it can actually feel like a, a huge change to begin with and feel quite you can feel quite insecure and feel a little bit of a wobble going on and what's going on but then you will slot into where you're meant to be and same with if it's a relationship but it's just then moving you from where you're you are now which isn't right into where which is right so it's it's good okay there was Sagittarius going into Capricorn Let's see what we got. Okay, Capricorn, you have the kid fox and the red-headed woodpecker. So this week you will, very likely, feel a bit boxed in, a bit like, oh, you know, things are a bit stale, not quite sure what to do with it. And all you need to do, easier said than done, but this is the message, is just to keep going and you will get through it. That's all it is, because the woodpecker is the bird, you know, like the hummingbird and the kingfisher, these three animals can work any tree, no matter how crooked it is, and the crooked tree represents your life. So the idea is, yes, you may be, you may feel a little boxed in, and a bit, it's almost like, I, you know, the, 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 way impa the word impairment comes in. Mm. If you feel like, I don't know what's off, but something is off. <laughs> That's how it feels. And all they're saying is, Yes, you may feel this way, but you just keep going and things will get easier as you make progress. Um, short and sweet for Capricorn, going into Aquarius. Very similar to the sign yeah. previous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oftentimes we have Perfect. this. In the beginning when I started this for the first time, because this is the 64th video we're recording, by the way, I thought I'm doing this wrong. So this can't be right, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and so, yeah. 64, 64 times I've been, we've been doing this. Well, I've been doing this. This is your fourth time. My fourth, yeah. So <laughs> so I guess, catch up that's it. it yeah. Okay, so um, Aquarians. So this is very much... Um, right, Th this week you're going to be looking at um, your love life. This is totally focused on issues with the heart because we have the heart chakra and fresh air. So this is... You're really going to assess your love life now and look at the areas that are working, look at the areas that aren't working. And it's very much a time, um, I'm just being told, out with the old and in with the new. 
um, which is coming a little bit early because that's normally New Year. But it's very much some of you are actually going to let go of old relationships that aren't working and haven't been working for you, um, ready for new relationships to come in. Or some of you will actually be making that decision. There will be two, um, two possible partners um, and one that isn't working and the new one will be coming and that, that one is the one that you're meant to be with. So try not to have a guilt feeling about it or feeling that you know you shouldn't be doing what you're doing there's no point staying in a relationship that isn't right for you and your partner and isn't working um the energy needs to change and the only way that can happen is for you to make that change so yeah okay um i'm just cuddling with my boy here and uh, i want to continue for five more minutes so if you could do oh he's leaving Otherwise, you would have done the next one. Ah. So, thank you for letting me work. <laughs> now we're going into our star sign, yes. Pisces. <laughs> I apologize in advance because <laughs> so far, virtually every week, they sort of give me messages that I then sort of share and then extrapolate from them what they mean for everybody. Uh, so they're always making it a bit personal. Mm. And I told him to not do this, but I only work here. And, um, you know, so maybe today... They're going to be different. Let's have a look at Pisces, Pisceans. Let's have a look. You have the Muldier, we have the Muldier and the Badger. This is a week, remember the overall energy says observe. We can do better. <laughs> we can just relax. Of course. Even though we observe, we need to also learn to relax around stuff. So, in other words, if stress comes your way, it's how you deal with it, right? Just take things very easily. I have the feeling they're doing this, the feeling of just pulling back from things that are stressful, for want of a better word, mm -hmm. um, is important this week because the um, energy that we're having is as well that, I, t I mentioned this earlier, that communication might not work so well. And with um, Pisces, Pisceans, we have the Badger, which is basically the symbol of being misunderstood. If that makes sense, it's just it's just symbolism. <coughs> Lovely little guys they are, um, but it means for us this week we rather step back a little uh, because when we try to explain ourselves or or just explain stuff or making a point, um, people may not listen. They just listen to respond. If that makes sense, so the the opponents for no better word are much more in a in a um, I'm going to take you out mode. If that makes sense, they're not interested in a in a proper conversation, yeah. and so you know, don't give them don't give them anything. If that makes sense, just relax. This week is about no, I'm not taking part in any stress related situations. It's not that you're going to sit this one out. If that makes sense, <coughs> because when you're alive, you don't have that luxury. It's not they're not they're not suggesting we lock ourselves away and don't speak to anyone, <coughs> but clearly. If we are caught in that trap that someone pushes our buttons, we have no defense mechanism this week because communication doesn't go anywhere. And that's why they're saying is just relax, keep observing, which is the overall energy for the week, and just stay in the center of your calmness, for want of a better word. Um, and that's all we need to do. Right? That was um, Pisces going into Aries. I had wait for a second. No, good. Yeah. Change. Oh, time, yeah. <coughs> okay. I have the heating on and I want to scream, I'm melting, I'm melting. I'm going to turn that thing on now. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I get cold. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aries, uh, so you have what do you desire and assertiveness, as if you need assertiveness. Um, this is now you've got the opportunity to... Um, to write the script according to your heart's true desires. So another one that's about you now have the opportunity to move forward with what it is that you, you want to do. And I can't remember the last um, sign I gave for Aries, but the feeling I get, it's still on the back of that. Mm -hmm. That's what um, makes me feel. So um, have a look back at the last time um, I did your Aries sign because they're, they're showing me it's still coming from that. So it's very much about um, just thinking about what you want and then those ideas, they're going to come in. 
uh, and assertiveness means that you know you don't you don't really need to do a lot with this because you've got an assertive nature anyway but the minute you put the ideas out there it's like they're all going to come come to you and come to the fore but be careful what you wish for and it just feels so familiar that i said that before so it's just that same opportunity that's coming around again so for those of you that missed it the last time you need to put those thoughts and feelings out there it's very much a period of change and a time of change within your lives um, I just feel this is this is more career focus, life focus. Um, it's all in that area more so than relationship for Aryans. So yeah, just just stand your ground and, and get your wishes out there. Okay. Mm. So that was Aries going into Taurus. Let's have a look. Drawn to a different deck. <clears throat> you also have the deer, which is what the Pisces had, the animal that tells you to stay calm, to remove yourself from all sorts of stress. Right? Really important for, for Taurians this week to do just that. But as often the case, I always mention this, and I don't mean this in a bad way, it's just my experience with, with Taurians, is you can be extremely stubborn at times mm. and just stay in a place that just isn't working. Right? And then make it worse because you're not happy there, so to speak. So what the guides are saying to you is stay calm, right? Stay, stand back, right? just observe, don't, don't, get, don't have your buttons uh, uh, pushed. And then you need really, if, if you feel this isn't livable anymore, you need to really walk away. So this is actually a week for Taurians to actually make decisions. It doesn't mean you have to walk away this very week, <laughs> but this is where the universe will show you stuff the way they are, right? So no more pretending that things are better than, than they actually are. So it will come to you, but because you're in observing mode and in very calm mode, um, it's not designed to hit you, if that makes sense. It's just designed to show you, well, here is what needs to change, and then you need to change it. But the feeling I'm getting for, for Taurians is it has to do with you moving away. So if this is work related, then either take a few days off, you know, or maybe there's something else coming, who knows? Mm -hmm. Same goes for relationships. Sometimes the first step is instead of sort of saying that let, let's just cut it all, is to just get a few days off, right? Just calm down, which is the main message for Taurians. <coughs> Short and sweet, now going into Gemini. Yeah, I'll show to this week, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You must know your shopping's coming. Yeah. <laughs> I know what this is. Before we started reading, Jane said, you always talk a lot in your videos. Have you noticed? And I was like, yeah. And so, um, and I think the guides are just messing with you now because obviously they're very <laughs> short and sweet, isn't it? They always like Here we go. Me. But I think it's also nice for you because you have a little bit of a break from my rambling on. Anyway, Gemini. Okay, we have daydream and perfect timing. So um, this, is, this is more about you. You need to take time out. You need to sit still and you need to just listen. You need to listen to your guides. Um, you need to listen to your thoughts because very often they will be your guides, but you, you may not be sure that that's what they are. But nine times out of ten, they will be because they're trying to give you guidance, they're trying to give you prompts, they're trying to help you move forward, they're trying to give you security because there's a feeling of real insecurity around now um, within your life. So you need to just sit, relax, just take that time out and just do nothing. Don't try and too hard to listen to anybody, just, just sit, just do nothing and just take that time out just for you and they're going to try and help you because it's just um, a real feeling that you, you need the help, you need the support, you, you're, you're not feeling yourselves uh, this week. And not in a bad way, but just in a way that you just, you just need the extra support. And the perfect timing card that comes with this, um, this is the time now for you to actually think about ways that you want to move forward with your life and alter some of your existing ways that I'm getting as well. Change the ways that you're looking at things a little bit. Instead of the glasses half empty, make it the glasses half full. 
because there's a lot of negativity that's been going out recently and we need to address that balance so that you can have more of a balance in your life which will make you feel better because you're feeling out of sorts, you're not feeling right at the moment and things, um, I just keep <coughs> seeing spiky profile going up, going down so we need to try and just smooth that out a little bit, okay? All right, That's that was Gemini going into Cancerians. Let's have a look what we got. <laughs> got a little more, if that makes sense, because most of the time the guides limit themselves to two cards. Now I have three. Because we were talking enough. <laughs> there, there, there you go. So for Cancerians, the first message is trust your instincts, trust your intuition. You see the world exactly the way it is. Don't have anyone believe you're not. Right? But go with the flow. It's important this week, remember the outbound energy is to, to just observe. What they're saying is don't argue because you will figure out that the situations are exactly the way you feel them. Still go with the flow of things. No massive arguments because you are actually on a journey. You're going through changes. You're going through quite a bit of transformation. Um, and so you need to keep your strengths, if that makes sense. The animal in the middle is the hawk, which uses the upthrust of the air to glide, which is the main message. Glide. Go with the flow. Don't let anyone or anything upset you. And just allow yourself to acknowledge, yes, what I thought is happening is actually happening. Right? Short and sweet for Cancerians going into Leo. Leo. Having these cards. Okay. Leo, we have plain and judgment. So this is all about um, the plane is obviously going on a journey. I don't feel it's a literal journey, I feel this is a metaphorical journey. Um, so this is and with judgment as well. So this is you're really going to soul search this week and you're really going to look inside yourself. This is re repetition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Um, and you're really going to be looking inside yourself how to get that peace within your life because there's a feeling, um, there's been an awful lot of turbulence, hence the plane and it's rocking and it's it's not a smooth trip that you've been having at all. And it's you've got to really look at yourself, soul search, what's going to make you happy, what it is that you want in your life. Um, yes, look, see what's going on around you, but there's also an action that needs to be taken with this um, to bring about the peace and the hope back in your life that you need. Um, it feels to me as though there's some things that you're going to need to let go to bring that peace in because that's what's creating this imbalance in your life. Um, and that way you can you can attract the things that you do need to come in. Uh, but you really got to sit, soul search, really think about what works for you and what doesn't there. Which also makes sense when you look at the fact that the overall energy is to just observe. Yeah. So you actually step back a little yeah. in order to observe, which helps you find yourself, if yeah. that makes sense, right? Going to the last star sign, which is Virgo. Here we go. Quite a positive week for, for Virgos. You have the frog and the caribou, which means no matter what life throws at you, you will be fine. And that's basically the whole message because you have the frog, which is an amphibian, and you can live on land and water. It means whatever life throws at you is fine. And the caribou is an animal that, or reindeer for want of a better word, <laughs> right? that has a split hoof. So when the terrain gets difficult, they just keep going. They don't think in. So twice... You have two animal guides that tell you, no matter what life throws at you this week, you will just be fine, mm. right? And also you have an animal, animal with antlers, which means you're fully protected, right? So you can adapt to situations quite well um, so that they don't escalate necessarily. But again, step back, observe, but you have the luxury, that makes sense, um, to really stay calm because Whatever comes your way, you see it a mile away and you can deal with it. No problem. Right? So, that's all we have time for. 
See you all very soon. And remember, subscribe, really important, and share. What's the point yes. in not sharing? Really, really important, right? Jane, thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy and, um, it. I just switched that thingy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.